One of the easiest ways to save time on your website is to utilize forms. In this video, we're going to walk through the pros and cons of using built-in forms in Squarespace and the website application JotForm. Without further ado, let's hop in. Hi, I'm LaShonda, the creator behind Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you're interested in reviews or how to's, this channel is for you. Be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. And if you like this content, be sure to let YouTube know by hitting the like button. Now let's hop into the content. Squarespace versus JotForm. One of the great things about Squarespace is they have built-in forms to help you to capture information from the people who visit your site. I am a huge fan of creating forms in your business because it forces people to give you exactly the content that you need before they hit the submit button. However, Squarespace is a bit limited with what you can put in your form. So the opportunities in your business where I think that the built-in forms in Squarespace Squarespace are useful is if you want to create a form on the go or you want to utilize the Lightbox feature. If you utilize the Squarespace built-in Lightbox feature, what it does is it creates a button that when you click on it, the form pops up. So it creates a really nice user experience. If you use the built-in forms on Squarespace, it will also take over the styling of your website. So it will integrate really nicely. However, I strongly encourage people who have a Squarespace site to also utilize JotForm. Now here's the awesome thing. JotForm has a free version. So if nothing else, make sure you go to lashondabrown.com slash JotForm to sign up for a free account to give it a try. What I love about JotForm is it has tons of templates. So if you are looking for something specific, you need a job application or you're trying to capture information for an event, JotForm may actually save you more time because those templates are available. They have classic forms and they also have card forms. Now the card forms allow you to take someone question by question through your form. So it creates kind of that survey experience. So if you're looking to send a survey to your customers after they experience a service or product with you, JotForm could be a great fit. The other instance where I think JotForm is incredible is allowing you to upload files. Now I get this question all the time. Can you upload a file to a Squarespace form? And yes, Technically it's possible, but you have to go through a ton of workarounds. If you use JotForm, it's built for that specific purpose. It also can allow you to capture payments within the form itself. So I am a big fan of utilizing both in your business to save time. Anything that you can automate for the future is going to help to propel your business forward and allow you to take on more business. So again, if you are interested in in trying out JotForm, I would encourage you to go to lashondabrown.com slash JotForm. And in the future, I may do some specific tutorials to walk you through step-by-step step how to make your first form. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you are notified when the next video comes up on my channel. In the future, I'm going to play around with some new formats, take you behind the scenes, show you some of the equipment that I use to run my business from home so that you can learn from me saving time, saving money so you can make money. Until next time, ta-ta for now.